Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 26 of new Selenium IDE that is assert text command. Selenium has huge list of commands guys. Out of them, assert text is one. Assert text command is one of the commands in Selenium IDE. And uh, what is the purpose of this assert text command? The purpose of this assert text command is to check whether the expected text is displayed on the on a, any UI element or not. Let's say, let me show you visually. Let me open the sample application here. For example, on the sample application, we scroll down a bit and uh, you can see this button. There is some text displayed right on this button. If your requirement is to check whether the expected text is displayed on this button or not. That is button to text is expected or not. Okay. So this is the actual text. Whatever the text that is displayed on the button is the actual text. text. But uh, there may be some expected text with us uh, as per the requirements. Okay. So we'll be checking whether the expected text is matching this uh, actual text or not. Okay. So if they are matching, the test will pass. If they are not matching, the test will fail. So that is what we are going to do. And, and also, this can be only done with the help of this assert text command when this particular UI element has this particular text button to text between the tags. Button start tag and button end tag between the tags there is button to. Okay. This is what we are going to use. This is actual text. Okay. We are going to match the expected text with this uh, text between these tags. Okay. Then only it will work, guys. Okay. So now we can use asset text as this particular text is there between the starting tag and ending tag now we can use asset text command to check whether the expected text is matching the actual text or not if this particular text is not there between this uh, starting and ending tags then we cannot use asset text command to check whether the expected text is matching the actual text okay so let me practically show you how to use assert text command in selenium id so let this be like this only okay so we can see this okay that's fine now click on the selenium id the selenium id will launch like this and uh, select this third option create a new project and it'll ask you for the project name give any project name i prefer qa fox click on ok button and uh, now the selenium id is completely launched select the first row so before performing any operations, first uh, first thing that we have to do as part of uh, this automation is like we need to open the application. For that, we have a command known as open command in Selenium ID, which opens the application URL. Now give the forward slash. This forward slash stands for the playback. The, the forward slash stands for this application base URL. Okay, base URL of the application. Whatever the application URL you give here, give here the base application URL it will take, okay? So it will open the base application URL. Then afterwards, after opening the application, now we can check whether the expected text is displayed on this button or not, okay? So for that, we have to use a command known as assert text command, assert text command. So here, what is the expected text? Let's say, select this and select this reference so that it will be easy for you to, okay? To use as a text uh, the next thing you have to do you have to give is the locator of this uh, ui element that you are going to match okay uh the locator is like it has some id guys id is called bu 2 is there copy this id value and uh, give the locator as id locator id is equal to bu 2 now in the value what is the expected text what is the expected text that you need to give here okay so let me give the Expected test as a button to if this button to is matching with this button to actually if this expected is matching with this actual button to then this particular test will pass otherwise it will fail so let me run this when you try to run it will ask you for the application url give the application url and click on start playback it's executing now So let's wait for it to assert the text 
check whether the expected text uh, given here in the selenium id is matching with the actual text or not as it is matching as expected text is matching with this uh, actual text it has passed the test the test has passed you see all the steps got executed and passed they are in green color now guys uh, let me let me give the expected text uh, something like xyz and uh, actual text is like button do in this case guys whatever we are expecting is not there here so the test will fail we are intentionally failing as per our requirements let's say the expected text is xyz but uh, as per the actual application if the text is like button do there will be definitely a mismatch and the test will fail right the automation test will fail so this is how asset text uh, will work guys asset test will check whether the text between the tags is matching with the expected text or not you see the text got failed and it already mentioned asset text is like a hard hard assertion okay it's an hard assertion guys uh, as part of the previous asset title i explained already this hard assertion hard assertion means if anything okay if uh, any command is following this let's say close command is there here when this particular test will fail at the step two because of this assertion assert text which is hard assertion it will not continue the execution guys okay the test execution will stop itself there itself and uh, it will not continue with the remaining steps now if i execute this one the test will fail here and the third test uh, the third step will not be executed the step following the failure step will not be executed because assert text is hard assertion it will completely halt the halt or stop the execution okay let me execute that as you can see now so it will stop the execution will stop at the sec uh, second step and it will not continue it will not close the browser okay this is called hard assertion you see the step two got executed and failed and as this asset text is hard assertion it has stopped the execution itself the close command didn't get executed okay so this is what is hard assertion and uh, and there is something known as soft assertion also that is for example if you use verify text here this will become a soft assertion which i will be explaining in the next video okay this this uh, verify text i will explain in the next video so it will continue the execution guys if you use verify uh, text here it will continue the execution and execute the third step also okay even after even after failure also it will continue the execution that is soft assertion so so this is how we have to use assert text command in selenium ide guys in the next video i will explain the next command that is verify text command so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye